when you first log in to tag it, you'll be presented with a very short kind of overview of the whole software, of the whole app. So analytics, engagement, inter interact with your leads. Uh, you can see all your leads through the people settings on the left here. Interact, you can create automated voice calls for interactive responses and actions. Uh, capture forms, creating lead pages and capture forms. And then you can see here, you can make outbound calls. You can receive inbound calls. This is like kind of like the phone function. Uh, this one, you can create links that are shared so that people like no uh, login requirements are needed. Okay. And that's basically it. So this is what you see as a, as the kind of like the screen when you first log in. All right, so once you, you know, log into tag it, right, you're gonna have to set up your number. And it's very easy, as you can see here, you're just gonna have to uh, set up the number by clicking the set up number button. And yeah, so I'm gonna click that. And then here you can choose, you know, the different kind of, you can choose your country, if you want a local national number, you can even choose your area code and you can even choose like what your number contains if you want to and then search for it. Once you search for it, you'll get a bunch of numbers and then you'll be able to get them and configure them. So you just have to choose a number, right? And then as you can see here, just click continue. And then that's it. And then once you have the number, then you can do your schemes. And once you create your number, you want to go to schemes and you want to see how your number is going to work. So the basic general schemes are uh, you get your voicemail notifications, you can turn it on or off, right? You can uh, tell them to send you a SMS, which is a text, right? Uh, you can send emails from it, right? And it'll tell you the cost over here, obviously. Uh, and then you can get incoming calls, outgoing calls, if you want them to be recorded. Uh, if you want to have a call intro greeting, so when someone calls, what's the intro going to say? So the next thing we can do is create a website widget. So I'm going to go create a website widget right now. Okay. You can put the number that where the all the calls are going to go to. So this usually is the number that you created, right? So I'm just going to put the number here. Okay, and then fill in the other details. You can also change your widget color so that it fits with your website. And then you can have an alternative channel, so text messages or emails. So in this case, I'm going to use text messages. As you can see, I've uh, done that. And then I'm going to hit Create Widget Now. So my widget's been created. And as you can see, it's right here. That's the number. So I'm going to copy my widget. So there's new functions. I'm going to copy this widget and just put it in your body. And then I've installed it to my site. And as you can see, the widget is on the right side. So when the customer clicks on this button, it's going to call the number that I've put in. And it's going to ask the customer to put in their phone number first. So I'm going to put in, I'm going to pretend that I'm a customer, put in their phone number. Hit the OK, and it's going to dial the number that I created. And remember, it's going to go through the schema that we created, the scheme that we created in the beginning, where it's like if it goes to voicemail, you can do that and all. It's very powerful. Or you can use a text message and just leave a message. So in this case, the customer could leave a message, a text message. So I'm just going to type this in. Okay, hey, I want to start your subscription and hit send. It's going to send the message. So message has been sent successfully. So let's say you don't want to create a website widget, you know, and you want to send someone a direct link to call you. Like you have a lead and you want them to call you directly. Well, you can do that with uh, Tag It. So you just go to the plus button over here and then click on create a call me link. 
So what this is going to do is put you want to put the number that you created when you set up this account. So I'm just going to put in the number that I used when I created this account, like the number that you bought to have a, a number. OK, uh, anyone with a link can access you so they don't need a password. And then how long the link is going to expire. And this is in minutes. So right now, the link expiry time is in minutes. You can put 30 minutes. You can put 120 minutes. I'm going to put 120 minutes. OK, so after you do that, it's going to create the link and we're going to click on continue. So as you can see, there's the call me link. So I'm going to click this button. And what it's going to do is it's going to go to this page and then the, your customer is going to see this and then they can put in their full name. OK, so let's say they put in their name and then they can put in their phone number. And once they do that, then when they hit the call us now button, it's going to call your tag it number. So another thing that we can do is we can create capture forms for, you know, special stories or types of uh, campaigns that we have. So in this case, I'm just going to put in special deal. Okay, I'm going to put in my domain name. And then I'm going to click on form. Story is something different that I'll show after. Okay, I'm just going to click on get started. And as you can see here, we did have different customizable templates and themes that are available uh, for different campaigns. You can also customize it from scratch. So I'm just going to click on this form here. And then I'm going to customize the template. Okay, I'm going to put in a title. Get, let's see here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to fill it out. Get 75% off. Um, fill this form. I chose the color, as you can see. And then for the data that I want to collect, I want to collect the name, the phone number, and the email address for this particular campaign. And then you want to put in your call to action button. So in this case, claim now. And then here you can put a thank you message or you can redirect them to a kind of an affiliate offer that is related if you want to. So in this case, I'm going to put an affiliate offer right here. I'm going to set capture behavior. And then so now the form has been created. Okay. And you can see the stats for that particular form. And then you can see what the audience that it's captured. You can see the preview of the form and what it looks like. Now you can even send it to an assistant who has a Tagit account, right? And then another thing is you can actually send this also to a recipient via email or by phone number. So you can send this form to an email or a phone number to your customers. And then finally, you can use the social uh, button here and you can, uh, you know, send this to if your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, your Pinterest, so that people can, you know, sign up and uh, see what the sale is, what the special deal is. Uh, yeah, so it's very powerful. So another great thing that we can do is we can create a new capture, but with a, a story function. So I'm going to click on new capture here. I'm just going to put in, let's say, special deal. Okay, I'm going to put in my domain. And then instead of form, I'm going to click on story. I'm going to hit on click, get started. And this is the form that I'm going to use. And it has a question. Okay, I'm going to set my story video. And here's where the story is very powerful. You can upload a video. You can record your video, right? You can use Instagram stories. You can use YouTube. You can even use external links. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to record a video. Okay. It's very easy to use. You can use record a video within the Tagit app. I'm going to hit record. Make sure you allow your camera. Uh, because I'm making this video, you won't be able to see my face. Okay. So I'm going to create my story. I'm going to hit stop. Okay. Anyways, you can hit stop on the video here, right? You can, so the main thing is configure and save. Okay, so that's important. So yes, you can see there's different things that you can do. You can do the animation. You can edit when the animation, what type of animation you have. 
bounce, flash. So I'm going to leave it as bounce. Uh, the main thing here is the claim to uh, the call to action button. So you want to use a call to action that gets them to click. So get on tag it now. Okay, I'm just going to use that as an example. Again, here you can put an affiliate link or you can just put a thank you text. So I'm just going to put in an affiliate link or something that's related to this kind of offer. Okay. right so you can uh, have these settings here autoplay mute story so set story behavior okay I'm gonna click on that and then there's more options on the left here you can have always show you can have it on exit intent so you can play around with these settings and see um, you know what what is best for you and your audience and your your leads right so you can click on the audience here and it'll show you different settings. You know, you want to show it to new and returning, you know, so people who have been to your site are coming back. And then you can, this is the engagement tab, right? So you can turn on text messages, SMS. You can set to email, put the email, okay? And then just click on save and publish and then continue. Okay, so as you can see, the special deal has been created. I'm going to turn it on by clicking the turn on button and then hit continue. Yeah, and that's how you create a new capture with the story function and how you can use it uh, with your website. Obviously, you can use it using the edit the capture, you can share it, send the capture, use your social media, all those different functions. Now a really great function of Tagit is being able to create these phone call links and these voice note links. So let's say you're, you have an assistant or you have sales reps that work for you and that you want to give them a way to call your customers. You can do this through Tagit. So all you have to do is, is create a phone call link. So this is different from creating a call me link. Uh, creating a call me link is when a customer is calling you. So in this case, no, this is you or one of your associates, your team members, your assistants, your sales reps, calling the customer, the lead, the potential lead, potential customer through a phone call link. So all you have to do, click on create phone call link. Let's put the time as 35 minutes before it expires create the link okay the link is created so now all you have to do is email this link to your sales rep you can email it to your assistant and <clears throat> when they click on this link it will go to a call thing and your um, assistant or your sales rep can make the call for you without even logging in to tag it now phone call links are only one type of way that you can reach your customer you can create a voice note link where your teammate or your assistant leaves a voice note for the customer. You can create a text link where your teammate or your assistant sends a text message on your behalf to your customer. You can even create email links where your teammate or your assistant emails your customer for you. And even the video call link, which is very powerful because it gives that personal one-on-one. -on -one. Tagit is very beneficial to any business that t wants to take, start taking calls on different levels.